Okay, in this section of our video, we're now going to go back to our bear project and we're going to get our bear to walk. So in the last video, we set it up so that the bear had a nodding head and he was opening his mouth to say something. What we need to do now is we need to show him to get him to move. And to move, we need to get him some limbs to move. So we're going to go to here, and we're going to go to quadruped and add a quadruped uh, procedure. The reason we're adding it as a quadruped procedure is that we can then apply it to different quadrupeds if we use them. So I'm going to call this walk. And in the quadruped procedure, what we want the quadruped to do is we want him to move his shoulders and we want him to move his hips. So we're going to start with um, front left shoulder because I've found that and we want him to turn his front left shoulder um, forwards by 0 0.25. Now I don't want to write this out lots of times so I'm going to hold on control and I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to do that four times. So front left shoulder is going forward. We want to change this one so it's the front right shoulder and then if that one's going forward you want this to go backwards so we're going to got a bit of a swaying motion happening on the hips to do the same so we want the back left hip there we go okay to go forwards to match that one and we want the back right hip so we want back right hip to go backwards now we want those all to happen at the same time so it doesn't look like the animal's just moving um, one limb at a time. So we can pull all of those into this do together section. And we want some movement to happen at the same time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back onto the quadruped and we're going to get in to move forward. It's not terribly far, just a 0 0.5. Now if we run this, his shoulders and his hips will be moving but one way. And if we keep repeating that, we'll start to rotate a bit like a windmill. So we want them to go the opposite way. So again, we're going to cheat. We're going to hold on control. We're going to pull the whole of the do together box down so we've got another one exactly the same underneath it. And we want to do the opposite. So whereas his left shoulder was going forwards before, we now want it to be going backwards. Okay, this is backwards, so it now goes forwards. This is forward, so it now goes backwards. This is backwards, so it now goes forwards. Now what we need to do is we now need to apply this to our method. So we're going to go to my first method. We're going to select the bear cub because that's who we're talking about here. And you can see within the quadruped functions we now have got something called quadruped walk. So we can pull that underneath. And if we go to run, we should see him do his nodding and his talking as was shown in the last sequence. And then if we've got this right, we should see a bit of a limb movement as he starts to walk forwards. There we go, stretching and then alternating.